Hi, John Rhodes here and welcome back. A big hello to all my subscribers and hello to those of you joining us from Endo Practice. If you've only just stumbled on the channel, why not hit the subscribe button now? In this video presentation, I'm looking at ways of utilizing the morphology of a root canal to help during root canal retreatment. In this case, I'm going to be retreating the maxillary right first molar. And as you can see, there's a nasty silver point stuck in one of the mesiobuccal canals. However, the mesiobuccal root has two root canals, an MB1 and MB2, and I can utilize this morphology to help retrieve the cone. I hope you enjoy it. Here you can see the preoperative radiograph. There's a periapical radiolucency over the distal buccal canal and a silver point in the mesiobuccal. Small volume CBCT shows the unprepared distal buccal canal very clearly. There's a chronic periapical abscess associated with it. There's also a missed MB2. We can utilize the MIST MB2 to help retrieve the silver cone. There's going to be an isthmus between the two canals and we can work laterally towards the silver point. After rubber dam isolation, the composite restoration was removed with a long tapered diamond burr. I'm going to use a large LN burr and a StarTex 3 ultrasonic tip to refine the access. Here I'm using the StarTex 3 tip to clear away debris and cement from around the head of the silver point. The floor of the pulp chamber has now been cleared and you can see that the silver point is flush with it. There's nothing to grab with tweezers or Steiglitz forceps. Rather than using valuable time trying to remove the silver point first, I'm going to prepare all the other canals and then return to the silver point last. Here I'm rapidly removing gutta perca from the palatal canal using a Gates Glidden number no. 2. I've now located the orifices of the MB2 and distobuccal canals. All root lengths are estimated using an electronic apex locator. The MB2, distobuccal and palatal canals are all tapered to a primary Wave 1 gold instrument. I am now using a fine ET25 Endo Success ultrasonic tip to trough along the isthmus between the MB2 and MB1 applying low power vibration to the lateral aspect of the silver point loosens it and I can see it move under the microscope. I can now grasp the head of the silver point and retrieve it using Steiglitz forceps. By preparing and irrigating the MB2 first, 
I have helped loosen the silver point and made retrieval easier. After confirming the length of the MB1 with an electronic apex locator, it was rapidly tapered using the primary Wave 1 Gold instrument. The case was irrigated with 3% sodium hypochlorite and 17% EDTA. The hypochlorite was agitated using an endo activator. There is confluence between the MB1 and MB2 canals. A cone fit radiograph was exposed before obturating with a vertically compacted gutta perca technique. A core was fabricated using dual cure composite and a fiberglass post in the palatal canal. Here you can see the preoperative radiograph. The post op radiograph shows good coronal apical seal. A distal angled view shows the confluence between the mesial canals and an interesting acute apical curvature in the distobuccal canal. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Stay tuned because there are many more interesting cases coming on the channel. If you haven't subscribed, why not hit the little button now? And above all, enjoy your endo.